Where, oh where, will the next Gigafactory go? I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. Howdy gang, how is everybody? Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. <coughs> of course, I get a tickle just as I start. Let's do this. Mmm, that is cold. So you may be watching this Friday on the live stream. And just for the, refer uh, for the record, next week, we're going to a, uh, probably, hopefully, going to be doing the live streams on the second channel. Link in the description. Link in the description, of course, as usual. Uh, and uh, could use some subscribers over there, some watch time, get that monetized. But if you're watching this on the replay, well, you know, great. It's condensed, and you can go back and watch the longer version if you so desire. Howdy, everybody. Welcome. Let's take a look at the chat. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ooh, I can pull this down a little bit. There, I probably sound better. Oh, it is buffering. Okay. So let's just jump into it. So after I did the first dozen, uh, I got a bunch of suggestions for other places that I should absolutely cover. Uh, so I'm covering them. And I was also asked to pretty please, please and thank you, with sugar on top, uh, give some actual numbers. So I've done that as well. The ones in gray here are ones that we covered last, uh, last time, uh, but we'll cover them again. So let's go alphabetically, because it's the only fair way to do it. Boy, I am buffering. Argentina, pretty small GDP, only comes in at 9% among the countries I'm checking. Um, their GDP growth, not exciting. Corruption index, uh, not too bad. Um, political stability, it's fine, middle of the pack. What they do have, uh, reasonably well, is some domestic resources. Now, I only counted four for the sake of this. I counted um, steel, iron, uh, sorry, steel, aluminum, lithium, and copper, <clears throat> which are kind of the big four. Their import taxes are quite high, so having a domestic production there would be good. But, uh, you know, it's fine. So uh, they would probably have a strong, a reasonably strong political will to get it done, but not much to offer in terms of, um, in terms of incentives. Their domestic auto sales, quarter million, and uh, they already make 300,000 cars a year, uh, giving them a rank of... 22 on the list. That's uh, mostly harmed by the low GDP and low expected growth in GDP over the next 10 years. Australia and Brazil uh, both got a good score on minerals because they have all four of those things being produced. So they came out a bit higher. Australia ranked six on the list, which surprises me how high it is. But they do have a big auto market, a high import tax on foreign autos, and um, no domestic production at the moment. And they still have some lingering engineering talent from the days when they did make cars. So that could be helpful. And they could make the batteries right there. That would be helpful. So the biggest request I got was for Canada. Canada's great. Uh, for production, Canada would be great. Uh, we would have... They've got a very large GDP. Um, the growth is expected to continue, though not at a ridiculous pace. The corruption index, they're looking very good. Political stability, very good. Median income is high. Engineering talent is high. Domestic resources, they have three of the four that we mentioned in great numbers. And I'm not saying these countries don't have the fourth, don't have other things. Um, I'm only looking at things for which countries are, are listed as the world's top producers of. <coughs> More buffering. More buffering. Domest so they've got the domestic resources. Mm. More buffering. Canada's import taxes, not too bad. Uh, likely political incentives, I put them at the bottom of the barrel because they don't need Tesla in the way some countries do. And Western countries tend to have high levels of bureaucracy that get in the way of pol the political will. Domestic auto sales are genuinely huge. 300,000 a year. That's great. Uh, and their domestic auto production is 2 million, 
because they make a lot of cars that are shipped to the U.S. Their grid stability is excellent, among the best, giving Canada, giving Canada a rank of two. Out of the 24 countries checked, Canada comes in at number two. That's pretty exciting. Czech Republic, that was requested. Their GDP is very much on the low end, but they're an EU country. Their uh, projected growth is above average. Their corruption index is mm, not bad. Political stability, below average. Median income, very low. They've got some talent, but not anything outrageous. Domestic resources, they don't have any of the four things needed. That gives them a lower score. They're in the EU, so the import taxes are fine. Their political will, I'm sure, would be fantastic to get a factory like this. Their domestic sales are low, but they do already make 1.4 million cars a year, which makes them, in my opinion, a pretty good candidate, giving them a score of nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How'd France do? Big. And by the way, all of this is going to be on Patreon uh, as a Patreon exclusive without the numbers blacked out. But this gives you an idea of where we're at. France, they've got good talent. They've got a lot of stuff. Not super rich on, engin on um, where is it? On the domestic resources. One of the four is in strong supply. Their rank, eight. Not too bad. Not too bad. Which ones are exciting? Which ones are exciting? Yes, you don't say anything about the rank numbers. Uh, these are mm, Patreon exclusives. Um, and maybe I'll make this available later, but um, I put a lot of hours into this. This was a lot of research. India. I'm a big fan of India. It scored a lot lower than I thought. Uh, four. Still four, because the market is so big and it is expanding so quickly. Um, the political stability is not great. <laughs> the median income is real bad, um, but it's growing and it's expected to grow a lot faster. And their engineering talent is exceptional. Not not the 100% level I'd put Canada or France at, but uh, 90%. They're just about there. That's what I put, right? 85%. So <clears throat> not bad. Now, Indonesia, bigger market than I expected. Let's do Italy at the same time might as well. Two big markets. How'd they rank? Well, um, Indonesia coming in at 13 is a very strong contender, I think, because the market is big. It is growing. They do have resources. It'd be a good market to get into. Italy at three strikes me as too high, but the numbers don't lie. They're just potentially quite flawed. <laughs> Japan. You ever heard of it? Look at that GDP, five billion, uh, sorry, five trillion, giving them the highest number of any country that is not on this list. They're not uh, looking at bad growth, decent growth. Uh, the corruption index is quite strong. The political stability is very strong. Uh, median income is very good. Engineering talent is second to none when it comes to autos. Their domestic uh, resources are quite limited. They only have pig iron. Um, uh, and yeah, their, uh, import tariffs are quite on autos are, are very, are non-existent and on material, on goods, they average two and a half percent. It's quite reasonable. Gives them uh, a good, a good shot. Their likelihood of political incentives would be almost non-existent because they don't need it, but they sell 3.8 million a year and make 9.6 million a year when it comes to auto production. Japan got it dialed in. Their grid stability is very high. Boom. You know what? Why don't I turn on grid stability so you can see that? It's not uh, the prettiest. But yeah. And these ones are just 100%. They just didn't fit well. Make it a little smaller for you so you can see. I can turn that one on. That's not cheating. Ooh, still doesn't fit. There we go. <clears throat> Who's next? Malaysia. Um, similar situation to Indonesia. Good, lots of stuff. Similar rank. Um, Mexico, we covered last week or last time. 
18. A lot farther down than I expected. Further down than I expected. Farther? Yeah, far. It's a distance. Netherlands, surprisingly small country. 16. It's a good rank. It's a good rank. Uh, Pakistan, I'm not sure why, uh, why that was mentioned as a possibility, but it was, and I figured I would absolutely cover it. Very small GDP. Um, not a lot of, uh, a decent expected growth. Uh, not a lot of uh, hope on the corruption index or the political stability index. They are at dead last on political stability. Median income is shockingly low. Uh, engineering talent, I'm sure it's fine, but not necessarily for, for auto resources. Um, they don't have much in terms of minerals. Uh, their import taxes are very high, which helps them because, you know, having a domestic plant circumvents that. Um, they would probably be encouraged to make a large investment, a very gracious and favorable investment. Hmm. Hmm. No data. Hmm. Domestic auto sales, 154,000. That's not good. And um, domestic auto production, 187,000. Not great. So I'm not sure why everyone wanted to see this. So, well, why a couple people wanted to see it. Dead last. Dead last. Philippines, similar situation to Indonesia and Malaysia, but a lower ranking. Um, because, you know, they're, well, because of all the factors. And, uh, yeah, and Tesla doesn't do cheap. But for an export hub, it could be helpful. Now, these were all covered last week. I'll just turn them on. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Boop, like that. So Poland came in very well, but it's right next to Germany. I don't know if they'd want a second plant that close geographically. Romania, not too bad, but Russia right in the middle of the pack. South Africa, much closer to the bottom than I would have expected. South Korea, number 10, kind of surprised me. I thought that would come out a little higher based on their engineering talent, but they don't have much in terms of domestic resources. Only one of the four items listed. Spain, also in the EU, they've got, um, they've got, uh, 851,000 cars sold a year and 2.8 million built. So that gives them a leg up. Spain, popping in there at rank 17. Ugh. Thailand, similar situation to much of Southeast Asia, but with a smaller economy and less political stability. Now, a lot of the political stability indexes, I think, are not necessarily relevant. Uh, Netherlands uh, did not score particularly well on that because their uh, parliament has been um, dissolved a number of times. <clears throat> but that's not... It doesn't change day-to-day -day operations. Turkey. I was asked to put Turkey on the list, and I did. Ranked second to last. Mm. Second to last. Mm. Mm. So, the UK, for those of you doing process of elimination, can figure out, ranked five. Not bad. It's because their GDP is huge. Let's just turn on all of the ones for this guy. Oh, they're going to not fit because I smooshed them. Uh, I can make them a little smaller. Let me just take that down to eight. Yeah, they still don't fit well. But at any rate, growing. Uh, a bottom of the barrel growth, but other corruption index, very strong. Uh, political stability, middle of the pack. You know, they know what they did. Um, engineering talent. Quite good. I know that uh, their cars are not always uh, have the best reputation, but they've done well. And they could absolutely build a car. So, so with that said, I think we can get on to the Q&A. We can drop into that section, the entire section, the whole Q&A. Let's go into the Q&A hole. Quick thanks to my Patreons who get early access bonus content, the full version of this video, which will be automatically posted, I believe, in 15 minutes, unless I set the time wrong, in which case I'll go double check it. So let's have a chat, shall we? I'm going to put this up, I'm going to put this up, hoping not to regret it. 
thank you guys for being here. And and uh, as a reminder for those who join late, uh, the live streams will be soon migrated uh, to a second channel as to better cater to the beast that is the YouTube uh, dreaded algorithm, which is quite painful. And uh, uh, the weekend summary of this, the recap, the condensed version, will continue being posted on this channel. All right. Giga Jerusalem 2027. Hmm. Hmm. Their engineering talent is very good. I don't know. It's a smaller market. Uh, I don't know. There are enough people that um, despise Tesla in any case. Um, I don't know if we need to pile onto that anymore. All right. <laughs> Giga France. We covered that. <laughs> I think you found a country that will move slower than Germany. Yeah, that's something that would have to absolutely, that would have to absolutely be covered uh, in any negotiations in advance is, is this going to happen? The political will is a big factor. I gave it a balance equal to that of uh, GDP uh, because it is, if Berlin has taught us anything, and I don't know if it has, it's that political will is critical. And that's a benefit te uh, Texas has, is they're very business friendly. <laughs> MD Hofstie says, I need the commercial grade Starlink. It's 500 bucks a month. At that price, why don't I just get a Tesla? Mm. Um, Gig of North Carolina. Yeah, I believe that uh, there will be expansion. In, lo in countries where Tesla already has operations before we will see any production from any new countries. Um, is there numbers from 10 year to score? Well, you know what? You guys are here on the live one and you made it this far. So why don't we go ahead and just turn this on because I'm a nice guy. And the casuals, I'm sure, have already left. This score is derived by mm, making an index. I use the real figure and then an index, which, which I... Let's find one where it actually shows, where we can actually see it. Might be able to make that one work. Uh, and then I, um, and then I score them each for what they are, and it uh, gives me an index, which I then blend out to an average. So, yeah, it was a lot of, lot of work. I can move this so you can see it for a second. India will be a five trillion economy by 2024. Um, I don't know by what year, but I still believe India is the next China. Uh, on my trip, I did have a chance to speak with uh, an American uh, of Indian descent who was, hmm, let's wait for this to catch up. Oh, come on, reconnect, baby. There we go. No, come on, buffer, buffer, buffer. Oh, come on. <sighs> there we go. So, uh, yeah, Indi uh, India will be the next China. The gentleman I spoke to um, was from India originally. He's an American now, and he felt uh, the same way. Um, but maybe that's national pride. I don't know. JJE came back with his wonderful joke again. Gigante Mexico. Si, muy gigante. <laughs> Any guesses what the massive mound of dirt at Giga Texas is for on the east side of the parking lot? It is for storage. They took the dirt from where the cyber wall is, where they're widening the road at the northwest corner. That's just storage. They're just storing it for now. They don't, they don't need it. <sighs> buffering, buffering. Why hasn't Tesla utilized FSD for loading ships yet? Immediate financial benefit, real-world testing, limited liability and danger. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think um, it's a small use case, but it would be potentially profitable. I think if they move too slowly, uh, it would not be cost-effective, and I think they would have to move slowly. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Only way Tesla can enter India is by building a factory here. Quite likely. That's uh, the opinion 
of the powers that be at the moment, uh, which would be unfortunate. Uh, Everett, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Maybe Tesla could start with HVAC systems in India. I think they'll be expensive when they're created. And I don't know how. We don't know enough about that part of the business yet. And it seems to be a lower priority. There seem to be a number of super critical things that will come up first, including the bot. Or even solar. Um, Tesla <clears throat> solar is the most expensive in the business. It's at, at, the, at present, it's not a good fit for India. Uh, India and China make solar panels very cheaply and effectively. That needs to catch on first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tesla doesn't do cheap. <laughs> Whoa. Ford is shutting down eight plants temporarily due to chip shortages. Yikes. Well, I also saw, correct me if I'm wrong, that Tesla made more profit last year or last quarter than Ford, despite selling a quarter as many cars. That's not ideal. Rob thinks the Southeast is probably next, unless we're counting Germany and China as well. <laughs> uh, who is this is asking? I don't know why everyone um, likes India so much. Well, um, because it's a developing market and it has a lot of upside potential in ways that other countries may not. Oh, why no construction yet? Limited capital, limited construction resources, not decided yet. If you mean in Giga Texas, where we've seen footprints laid out and no construction begin, I believe it's because of a uh, shift in production methods. When the uh, lithium was going to be coming from, what, North Carolina, South Carolina, I forget, uh, that was a particular type of uh, lithium deposit, it was the carbonate, and uh, that requires a different method of refinement than others. So the factory may have had to have been completely redesigned as the lithium supply shifted. It's definitely not a lack of capital. They got that. East Coast, U.S. or China. Giga Mexico, no other option. Yeah, maybe, JJ. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no other options. Who is this says, he's literally listing all the other options. Yeah. Um, the grid in India definitely was a ding against them. Let's see. India. Well, middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Not so bad. And also in the cities, I imagine, uh, you, if you are in an industrial area, you probably have, uh, you're probably not subject to rolling blackouts the way you would be in other, in especially residential areas. What about Canada? Yeah, it's on there. It's on there. Canada scored awfully well. Second only to Japan, which I thought, Japan, I was very surprised, but there we go. <laughs> Jeff says, Ford shutting down temporarily. Sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ford says they want to improve their gross margin. Oh, do they? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, once the supply shortage is over and you can get whichever car you like, Ford may have a problem because I don't know how many people are going to be buying $80,000, $90,000 Fords. Chip shortage is just an excuse. Quite possible. Quite possible. Oh, do I see a split this year? I do. I do. I think that will happen. I do. But I am not a financial advisor and I am notoriously wrong about this stuff. What did I miss? Nothing. We're just uh, talking about two dozen countries that could could get a gigafactory. All of these, any of these, or also none of these could get a gigafactory. Moose Jaw Canada. Hard to adjust to different chips for Ford since they don't even assemble their own components. And they certainly don't have in-house software. By the time you would... You order the different chips. You're going to use some different chips. By the time you get them, you might not have even gotten your bids back to find out who can write the code for it. Yeah, you can't be nimble. When Tesla finds out, oh, we don't have X chip, but we have Y chip, they say ship it. And by the time it comes in, the code's already written. It already is ready to work. Ford's had plenty of time to fix this. Yeah, I feel like they have. 
I feel like they have. But uh, that's not what they do. That's not what they do. So we're at the 25 minute mark. If anyone wants to ask a final question before we go, let's do it. And uh, if you haven't had a chance, please do check out the second channel, link in description, where the live stuff will be hosted starting in a week or so. That would be, that would be cool. Um, because YouTube is kind of punishing when it comes to lower retention. And, uh, you know, the guys, the, you folks who come here are already my fans, my, already my subscribers. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to find a way that works to make YouTube happy. Because at the end of the day, uh, that's how people discover me. That's how they find the channel. So again, as usual, uh, thank you to um, my Patreons, all that good stuff. And uh, why don't we take uh, one last peek at here? Mm hmm Okay. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts, your brilliance, your blinding wisdom in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots. On the flippity flop and JJ, yeah, of course the semi's coming to Pepsi this year. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? And I know the answer because it hasn't come anywhere yet. Ah, <sighs> wow. Czech Republic has one percent unemployment. That would make it just about impossible. Boy, that would make it just about impossible. That's a great, great point. Thank you, Cura Cars. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Okay, guys, thanks uh, as usual. Happy Friday, happy weekend. Got good stuff coming up, and I'll talk to you clever robots, uh, you know, in the future. Thank you, Jeff.